today looks like the best day for opening packs in FIFA 20 so far. We've got winter refresh, we've got icons, we've got so much stuff and hopefully I'm going to be packing one of them. If you want decent pack luck, drop a like on this video because that will give you good pack luck. <laughs> Maybe. But it will also enter you into a giveaway for 4,600 FIFA points and just comment down below and then subscribe and you'll be entered. The winner for that will be announced this weekend but Let's get into this video. To get the cheapest FIFA coins on the internet, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description and a discount code as well. You can get 100,000 FIFA coins for just £8. Eight quid. Eight, eight quid for 100,000 FIFA coins. Go and check them out. They're 100% reliable. I've used them so, so much. Make sure to use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout and let's get into the video. Hello, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 so welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, we are back for another episode of how to get easy packs in at FIFA 20. I'm going to be kicking things off by jumping straight into the advanced tab and the league and nation hybrid. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys this SBC right here, which you can complete for around 9,000 to 10,000 coins. And it is going to be getting you a 35k pack, which is a mega pack, which for this promo is actually pretty decent in my opinion. So let me know down in the comment section if you've actually managed to pack anyone decent. I've got a pretty decent episode lined up you've got quite a few SBCs to get through in the last episode we made around 50,000 coins roughly and I'm hopefully gonna be making around 60,000 to 70,000 in this video and hopefully packing some good players along the way but this is the squad that I came up with for the fiendish SBC again you can go and check for bin solutions if you want to and here's everything that I did actually pay for these individual players didn't really cost me too much to be honest I'll now to 800 coins the goalkeeper 750 Casares 750 as well which really isn't too bad Bad so far. Moving over to the next centre back in courts, 800 coins. Right back was 800 coins as well. So that's that back line done for pretty much minimum price, which really, really isn't too bad. Moving into the midfield is Kozola at 800 coins. Next to him, we've got Krychowiak for 600 coins. And then we have got the left centre attacking mid at 550. Jump back over to the other side, 750. We've got Adaris up front as well with Smolov, 850 each. I think, I'm pretty sure that that's how much it was. And yeah, 900 coins for some off. So really, really not too bad. But let's jump into these packs. So just before I open this pack, I just wanted to take a look in the bottom right at some of the cards that we can get with this. Bruno Fernandes, Ericsson, Ebra. Ebra would be perfect, perfect. To be honest though, I'd want to use Ebra. I don't want to sell him on. We've also got the new team of the week as well, which looks absolutely sick. We've got Mbappe in there. Who else have we got? We've got Icon Moments as well. You know what? Let's just get into this first mega pack. So, our pack is opening. Fingers crossed we get something decent. Very, very nice flair. English. Center attacking mid, Deli Alley. Okay, so we start off this with Deli Alley. To be honest, it could definitely be worse. It could always be better though. 84 rated Deli Alley. He should go for something. Who else have we got in here? We've got Hasebe, Bebu, <laughs> Skov, Coleman. All right. I'll take an alley. I will take an alley. Let's just take a look to see how much he's going for. Looks like he's only really going for like 4k, which isn't really too good. We've got loads of squad fitnesses here, which actually does make up for quite a bit because I can sell these at like 1,000 each. They may even be going for the tiniest bit more actually because when I'm recording this, it's actually the start of the weekend league. So yeah, I could probably get away with charging a bit more for these. So I'm going to list all these up for 1.2k. Also got a Barcelona kit as well, which could go for something. All right, decent. We've actually made probably around, I reckon around 10,000-ish coins on this pack, so we've probably just broken even. I was just about to say, is there anything else in this pack? And there's 4,000 coins there. I will 110% tech that, but all of these, there's not really anything that I really want to keep. We've got quite a few contracts already. So I'm going to just get rid of all these right here and then just keep the other contracts. So actually a pretty decent pack. So not a bad start. Definitely could have been better. However, we are going to be jumping into this next SBC, which is going to be an SBC, which I've shown you guys before in a different video. However, we're going to obviously have to redo it on this. It is going to be the Juventus SBC, which is in the Syria SBC group. Now, this one can actually be tricky to complete, to be honest. I didn't use the duplicate player glitch because... I just couldn't be bothered. I needed to get the recording done as quickly as possible and it can be quite fiddly to do that glitch sometimes. So for the sake of saving a couple thousand coins, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really couldn't be bothered to do it, to be honest with you. So, starting off, we've got 
All our players so far have been relatively cheap besides Buffon. Uh, to be honest, the Juve players are going to be the ones that are going to be making you spend the most coins, specifically the centre mid. So, to be honest, I would highly recommend to use the duplicate players glitch to save yourself some coins because, honestly, it's... It's a bit expensive, this one. This one was costing me probably around 11,000, 12,000 coins, and I am going to be getting myself a mega pack back from this as well, which 35k pack for that price really isn't too bad, but considering how bad my pack look is at the minute, eh. Next up is another mega pack. That one wasn't a big flurry. It's not even going to be a board, that one. That was absolutely awful for a mega pack, and we get... Parades. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything amazing, but something better than Parades would have been good. However, he could be going for something because of the SBC. I don't think he really is, though. So we'll get him listed up for 1.4k. Got a Diallo as well, 79 rated, who's probably going for around 850 coins, if that. We've also got this guy right here, this Champions League card. Is he going for anything? Eh, maybe like a couple of K or... Not even that, actually. I think he goes for like a K. Just looking through the rest of this pack, we've got quite a few squad fitnesses in this one. Only three in this one, but we do have a Guardian Chem style. Does that go for anything? No. To be honest, the rest of that pack isn't really too great. You can see here everything that I'm just discarding. Is there anything else in here that I need to be aware of? Not really. Next up, we have got ourselves another Mega Pack to complete. Now, typically, I've always thought that Mega Packs were pretty decent. However, so far, not so good. It is going to be the Real Madrid SBC, though. Again, another SBC, which you can use the duplicate players at glitch on if it is still working. If anyone could let me know down in the comment section if it's still working or not, that would be sick. I've not had a chance to test it out just yet. But starting off right here, as you can see, Nacho Fernandez, 1,200 coins. We do actually have our goalkeeper as well. But our centre back for 650 coins, not too bad. Sydney for 850 as well, which again, not too bad. Malo, 550. I did try and use Mario Gaspar at that right back position, but it didn't work for whatever reason. And we've also got 600 coins for our first centre mid, our other centre mid, and we've got Valverde as well at 1,800, which. Is very, very expensive. Rodrigo, 800 coins, so not too bad. In the striker position was Mariano, who was 950 coins. And then at the right wing position was Vasquez. So, not too bad of a squad. But let's get into the packs. So, we've got ourselves, yet again, another mega pack. That one was a bigger flur. Fingers crossed, lads. Fingers crossed. Spanish, just not what you want to see. Goalkeeper. I was hoping for De Gea. Casillas though, 83 rated, oh, out of all the things we could have got, to be fair, it actually looks like there's quite a diverse group of players here, this guy looks like a transfer card, is he, no, I don't know if he is or not, because I don't know anything about football, we got this guy, is he going for anything, again, no, there is just, it's just not been our day so far, I'm hoping that this next pack that we get into will actually give us something, but so far, our pack look today has been atrocious. We've got put a dunk on it here. Let's see how much you're going for. Oh, sick that. Is there anything else really in this pack? Some coins at the end. Squad fitnesses, we've got four of those. That's at least 4k right there. Got them by much a glad back badge. Not really anything else though. We need some pack look to come from somewhere. Honestly, so much effort effort completing these SBCs and so far I've had absolutely ball all. I've had a Deli Alley as my best player so far but we are going to be jumping into a different pack which will be giving us a premium Electrum players pack which is from the RB Leipzig SBC. Now this is a relatively cheap SBC which you can go and complete. First off, goalkeeper, 600 coins. Simple as that. Left back, 700 coins in Halstenberg which again, pretty decent to be honest. Moving into our next position, the centre back 700 coins again not too bad this SBC really isn't too expensive so I would recommend to go and do it if you've not done it already again my pack look at the minute isn't the best really really isn't the best however if you guys have got decent pack look right now go and complete this SBC you can pretty much complete it for pretty cheap to be honest I think this is one's going to be less than 10,000 coins by all means if you want to go and add up all these players you can do I've not actually done it in this video because again I've just not had time I've been rushing to get this video out to be honest but this is what our team's looking like hopefully we get some decent this is our final pack and you know what i'm not gonna look i'm not gonna look this is gonna be a rare election players pack i'm hoping that with me covering my face that it is actually worth it please anything anything a special card i'll take a rubbish team of the week at this stage just anything which makes me back 
the tiniest bit of coins would be perfect. So we're going to look at this pack in three, two, one. I mean, we've got some of the players that we've actually been putting into these SBCs. RB Leipzig, Paulson, Nacho Fernandez, Big Leah. We put him into an SBC, I'm not too sure. But we've got Bellarabi right here, who I'm not really too sure how much he goes for. He actually looks like he's going for around 2,000 coins. So it's better than nothing. But again, for the amount that we've spent and the amount of hassle and the amount of work that we've put in, it's just not good enough. All those things in packs and we literally couldn't hit any of it. Nacho Fernandez, how much are you going for at the minute, mate? Probably less than 2,000 coins. So we started this episode with around 50,000 coins, and quite a few of these players are selling on, and we're up to 44,000 coins. I mean, we could have definitely done a lot better, but at the end of the day, we've still made profit once these cards have actually sold on, fingers crossed. And we've got so many cards up right here who will hopefully be selling on very, very soon. I reckon that we could be on around 60,000 or maybe the tiniest bit more, but I want to ideally be going for that one. 100,000 coin mark but I can't complain too much because I've not spent any real life money or bought coins or really done anything too strenuous I've just been opening packs but I would have preferred something a lot better to be honest it's, it's just annoying but what can you do? So guys, that is where I'm going to be finishing up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, if you could drop a like on it, that would help me out a lot. I've not set a like target on this video but if we could go for I don't know a million likes. I want a million likes on this video. Hopefully we'll smash it. We'll be getting another video out tomorrow as well, so make sure to jump back over here to check out that. I am going to be sorting out a schedule for next week as well, so if you're someone who likes to know when your favourite YouTubers are uploading, I'll give you a schedule. Not saying that I'm your favourite YouTuber, but at least you'll know when I'm uploading. But guys, this is 36, and I am off. Goodbye.